Hey everyone, CJ here. So today we're gonna go through the Woodland Trail at Minot. Uh, it's a nice little trip through the trees. There's a lot of alternate paths you can take. I'll show you a couple of things as we go. But this will just be a nice trip of this type of stuff you can find. Um, anybody can travel here. It's not like you need a lot of experience or it's not gonna take a long time. So. This is a good starter trail to look into. All right, let's get going. All right, everybody, let's get started on the Woodland Trail. This is part of the Minot City Park District. Uh, it's a nice little trail. It's easy to do. Come here no matter what your skill level is. Just take a little walk. I'll show you some stuff. This is an old fishing pier. Depending on the weather, you can still come fish here. People come out here for like family walks. You can push a stroller. As you can see, it's not that bad. Some nice tree areas. You can see some river embankments. This is a great place to go if you want to see different environments, not leave the city, have a piece of nature. You can actually practice some basic skills out here. There's some trees, branches, twigs. You can work on maybe some knife skills or improvise sheltering. Maybe tracking. There's a lot of animals out here. You can try and identify animals and plants, birds. 
just a great little place. Don't even have to leave the city to do it. You can come picnic out here, walk your dogs. There's dog spots like here. You can get litter cleanup garbage. There's multiple different routes, so you can come out many times and do different trails. I'm just gonna do a random trail. I'm not even paying attention, I'm just kind of walking. We're going to get an idea of what all's out here. Figure this would be a nice way to just show the area. Markers so you don't get lost. You want to make sure you're still going the right way. There's always arrows. So there's little spots like this scattered throughout the area. You can come sit on the bench. Take a look out across the way. Sometimes there's wildlife that passes by. There's a house down the way. If you continue all the way down that way, and maybe I'll show it depending on how this trail goes, you'll come by a major golf course. So you're not that far away from civilization but it's nice to know that you're still in the city, but you can enjoy a little bit of nature at the same time. This just goes to show, for those that are starting out, you don't have to travel far to get started with being outside, being in the elements, trying to see animals, birds. Maybe you wanna take up camping and survivalism Maybe that's something that has an interest to you. Nobody said you have to like go live in the mountains. Matter of fact, this is my knot. There are no mountains. There's still trees. You just got to know where to find them. Some trails, wildlife refuge, and wildlife parks. Those are great places to start. Fishing game should be able to tell you where you can go camping. It's all out here. Just gotta know where to look and what extent you want to get started with. And over there, come up on it right here. So we're out in nature, it looks very foresty, 
but at the same time, there's a golf resort right across the water. I'll try and get a better shot of that. That was terrible. But yeah. I mean, I'm in downtown Minot. I haven't gotten far. Right, so places like this that usually have maps, you can find them online. But there's different routes you can take. You'll come to these little crossroads. And then it's just finding out what direction you want to go. And what type of activities you want to do. Well, I'm just going to stick to taking the outer ring. This should just make one giant loop. I want to say this loop's going to be a mile, maybe. Could push a mile and a half, but I don't think it's that long. There's shorter trails if you just stick to the inside. If you wanted to come, you could probably spend all day just walking the different paths and making loops and circles and just getting to see it all. Alright, so here's a good shot of it. So, I'm walking out of the trees on this trail. And this is a fairway. Look at that. You can walk on to tee box for the 12th hole. Well, that's not what we're out here for. We could take up golf. That's an outdoor activity too. That one just costs a lot more money than going out and walking in the woods. Active golf course, remain on path. Divided by a piece of wood. But if you knew someone golfing or you wanted to look at it, you could just come sit on this bench. And maybe watch some people play through. Still out in nature, you take a break, can watch a little golf. 
There's lots of things. Lots of fun to be had by going outside. River passes down there. I actually come here every now and again to go fishing. I'll make a point to show you that on the way out. It's not far from here. See, and the best part about paths like this, instead of just finding a mountainside and going out hiking, is that a lot of people travel on this. The authorities can come here if you get hurt, if you get lost. There's always some sort of assistance nearby, which makes this a great type of environment for starting off. Maybe you thought you could make this trip and now you can't. And your legs are giving out, you're having trouble breathing, anything like that. There's cell phone reception because you're in the city. There's other people that come by to help you. And you can just call and tell them, hey, I'm on this trail. And I mean, you can get police and EMTs out if you have to. It's just another advantage of basic trails like this. Great starter trails. old fishing platform obviously it's old because you're not gonna fish down there from up here all right so the main trail goes to the left but I'm taking you to a fishing spot so we're just gonna cut through this path here You got the river right there underneath the city bridge. There's a dam a little ways up. So, if you come down this trail, it's actually really easy to get to from the parking lot for fishing. So, we don't even have to take much of the trail. But 
you bring your pole, bring a backpack, you go out, do some fishing, don't catch anything, you get bored, you can just start walking the trails from fishing and then come back to it when you want to. And I mean, like, this is a nice creek, nice little riverway. There's been beaver and mink and all sort of things that I've seen run through here. All right, so basically all we did was the main trail wraps around through the woods, but I took that service trail to stay along the river. And when we get towards this bend, there's a little cutoff that goes down towards the bridge, and you can go fishing down there. So here's where the trail turns, and down there is where we're going to go fishing. So that way goes back in along the trail. There's this little side trail here. down this trail and it'll take you right up to the water and then from here you can fish out under the bridge or you can go under the bridge. You've got to traverse some rocks, so make sure you keep your footing, watch your balance, watch your step. You can just come right out into the water. fish out here there's a dam a little ways up continuing that way and it feeds down into this river and the fish come through it they pull up here and they eat before they continue down the line so this is not a bad spot to do a little fishing you don't have to travel far you don't have to go out of your way you just come from the trail down to this little bridge inlet and just fish from here. All right, and I've gone all the way down around the corner, but it's a nice place to start. Get some fun. Travels over to rocks. I tell you, you can let your kids come run, but you got to keep an eye because all it takes is one bad step and then they fall down and then they hit the rocks or twist an ankle. And I'm the one that told you to let your kids out, so now I'm in trouble. So, everybody travel at your own caution, know what you and your kids can do. But if you feel ambitious, this is here. If you're in the Minot area, this is here. So we're back on the main trail. And through those trees,
can't really see it yet well, that's the parking lot so you just take all your fishing gear and walk this little corner at the end and you can get to a fishing spot in no time Alright, so there's the parking lot, and over there's the start of the trail, sign where we began, so, that's all there really is to it, nice easy path, and you're back to civilization. All right, so that's gonna do it for today in the Woodland Trail. Like I said, there's multiple trails here. I just took you basically around the outside loop just to give you a little show of what it is, what type of things there is, that you don't have to leave the city to do this. Um, the outdoors is literally right outside your door. You just have to find the place you wanna go. So if you like this type of content, you like the idea that anybody can get started being outside, go ahead, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.